October 23rd, 2019. There are two items on the agenda. I'd like to move uh, the second item up first to discuss and vote to appoint Allison Bell to the Open Space Committee. She's expressed interest and she actually is the author <coughs> of um, some hiking books uh, over the last couple of years and she will help the Open Space Committee in Waitley uh, really design a strong balance publicize as appropriate, so she's going to be great. So I move to appoint Allison Bell to be on the space committee. Okay, second. All those in favor? Yep. All right. Okay. Next item is uh, discussing propo the proposed reopening of the club castaways and review the licensee's progress <coughs> towards meeting the conditions of the alcohol license, entertainment license, and variance. Can I come up here? Sure, yeah, you can, you can come up here. Uh, yeah. Welcome back. Appreciate it. It's good to be back. I've been here. Yeah. Right here. Okay. Um, just looking at the general update or you want to know where I'm at? <laughs> Uh, yes, tell us what you're doing. All right, so we closed, early, uh, we closed on the property and the business in early August. Since then, we've got uh, a number of quotes from general contractors all around. Um, numbers are, you know, they are what they are. We'd like to revisit uh, a big gut renovation in January. We'd like to capture some of this fall market in winter now, which is why we'd like to open um, on October 29th. A lot of good work has been made over the, you know, since, since early August, um, where I'm at right now. Um, all the exterior lights have been changed around the property. Everything's been, been upgraded. That's good. I got motion sensors in the back. I have a couple of issues and uh, just need some clarification. So uh, security cameras have 24 seven recording coming, 90 days worth of storage. The electrician is in there now and he was there this morning. He's making room for some of the camera setups that I have coming in. Cameras are ordered, installed can be done within like 48 hours. Just I'm making some room for, for some of the camera install right now, like outlet wise. Um, so that's ordered, that will be installed shortly. Challenge is the fence. So plan calls for, the conditions call for eight foot fence, no problem. We, we agree to that, we know that. Um, just from an operational standpoint, I talked to Allen L Fence and it's pretty firm on the fact that like the six foot once installed is six point six feet tall and for privacy and sound <clears throat> there's no difference between the six foot and the eight foot uh it does say that operationally if someone's to bang into that fence or weather or storm or whatever knocks the eight footer down then it's like a custom order just a couple weeks for a place he says that the six foot fence is industry standard always ready to go. He has a six foot fence in his backyard. So I was just hoping to get a direction today. If, if it's the eight foot fence, I'll, I'll get it done. I'll have to deposit tomorrow at LNL first thing in the morning. If it can do, and, and it would take some time to install. He did say, uh, you know, I don't know, a few weeks or so. For the six foot fence, it is in his backyard and it's, uh, it's ready to go and I can have that installed. Um, I would imagine within a, within a week's time or so, probably shorter. Um, that's for the fence. The other little challenge that we had before was the, the cinder block wall that also has to be eight feet. Um, for that, I do have to go through conservation because there's some concrete involved and in digging into the ground with concrete. So the, the big concern there was noise from, from people being out there in, a, in an uncontrolled way. Um, I do need a place for, for employees to smoke right now. I still like to have that, that back section there of motion cameras and, and new cameras going in, but I can just limit it to, to two people just as a buddy system, just for safety out there, just to let people smoke. Um, there wouldn't, just to, to get the, the eight foot wall going if I had to have a smoking section. But it's uh, kind of where I'm at with, you know, they have some, some minor touch up and renovation stuff going on inside. It looks great, did some landscaping. Exterior lights, interior cameras are coming. All the technology that that's required as per those conditions will be in there and installed. Um, <coughs> security, 
kind of touched on, on that too. It's, uh, it's probably been my, my biggest priority over the, the last 60 days or so. Very tough to find uh, qualified individuals from like my company perspective. It's a, it's a little bit easier to, to start with working with a private company. I have some security needs that, that aren't just so simple, like throw a guy at the door and check everyone. I have some, some events planned where there's, there's some female acts, um, all gender inclusive acts, so uh, this private security company, they're able to staff me with female security guards, which I have a need for right now, and it's a little bit harder than just putting ads up everywhere and just trying to hire someone internally. So what I hope to do is, is get started with private security company, staff the special events, that requires special staffing with them and at the same time just get training for employees inside and, and start to basically have, have training that way. So I'd have a private company working the events, they'd be there every day, even you know Monday, Tuesday, not just special events for the weekend. At the same time they'd be working with a company to train um, some in-house employees on, on security for like the door and parking lot and stuff. But there's a unique set of needs there that I really can't avoid, uh, I think, so. Okay, is your, so when is your actual plan to open the gate? I'd love to open on October 29th. Um, my challenge is the fence right now. I can get the six footer up, which according to L&L, &L, which they've been great. Um, privacy wise, sign wise, it, it, it works. And it's, it's gonna always be ready, readily available for me. And when I need to make repairs for whatever reason, the eight footer is, is just as nice. It's just, it's just custom. So um, I'd like to be able to open knowing that this is, this is all in motion. I'm, I'm within days of actually pulling it together to get it wrapped up. So I feel, I feel pretty good as the operator. I feel like we're, we're ready to go. Okay, and so where, where do we stand, on, I guess, as the chief on the security plan? As far as? Has it been submitted and, and acceptable to you, or is there still yeah. work to be no, done? We, as far as I know, <clears throat> the last um, security plan was updated as of August 8th, and that was the date of the variances that were included into that. Um, from there, I submitted it to, to Brian as well, the copy that I have as far as the security plan goes. And it's, that's, that's the plan that we came up with in meeting with their security director and um, the feedback from the select board as well. And that was the plan. That plan came about in, I believe, July. <coughs> the end of July. It's got the original date on it. July 25th. July 25th. Yeah. <coughs> So as far as the security plan goes, I'm, I'm satisfied with the security plan. The variances, the, the variance that was issued kind of changes a little bit of that, but that's, that's kind of included for the first four months as that, that special variance. So it's kind of a two-part two -part plan. Okay, so if the opening is, is on the 29th, do you feel comfortable with the security plan? I, I have officers scheduled already for the details. Um, I've been assured that they they will have security people there as per the plan. Um, I, I'm on, under the impression that it's not just going to be some random just call up and get the minimum wage security people there. This it's a legitimate company. It's it's a private security company. It's what they specialize in. The you know the owner is a former police officer, I believe. So. I think that I don't know if that's going to be long term or specialized in just club and security. Um, yeah, it's a special. So you're relying on a security company to provide security people there. I'm not relying. It's they're they're relying on it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we're not we're not there to provide security. We're there to, to kind of oversee for the first four months and observe and report, make sure that all the regulations are being met and that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, that their security is actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. So that's that's our responsibility from, from the law enforcement perspective. Obviously, if there's a public safety issue, an immediate public safety issue, there'll, there'll be a fully um, uniformed officer. We'll have a, a cruiser there as well, so you know, they'll be able to, 
take any action that they need to in an emergency situation. But aside from that, it's we're going to be watching how their how their security handles things, and then we have a um, a log. Any any incidents that happen, it'll be it'll be logged by the uh, detail officer and submitted, so we can for our meet, weekly meetings with security, we can cover any of those issues and um, discuss those issues with the select board at the monthly meetings. Okay. Uh I think I saw the proposed invoice or estimate from Allen Al Fence. Uh, Brian said that was that was dated only like a week ago. Yep, yep. I looked at having materials dropped off and installed ourselves. I looked at building it ourselves. I had contractors work with multiple proposals, and then last of it was just contact the vendor kind of directly and just do the fence. So, have you looked at other? Fence companies besides Allen Al? Yep, there's one in Florence. Um, called them, talked to them. Won't comment on prices, but right now, as far as like being able to get the job done in a reasonable price, like Allen Al, I feel good with them. Plus, they're I mean, they're here. I want to have a relationship with them, anyways. The price difference between the eight foot and the six foot, uh, it was like under two thousand bucks, which is not going to be the biggest deal. It's, it's not even about that. It's it's really. Can I get going with the six foot? It's, it is industry standard. No difference with the privacy, and it's easy to replace if and when it, it ever gets knocked down or there's a storm or whatever. But and so, are there other companies besides? Let me rephrase my question. Other companies, fence companies besides L and L, that could put an eight foot fence in by your opening day? Uh, no, I think for for the two other companies I talked to, eight foot is custom. If if there was someone. I can, I can, I'm ready to go. So that's, that's not even the problem. It's just, I think the eight foot is, you're always getting to the custom job and then um, it's just time. And you only, you only went, you said to two other companies? I feel that, I feel that's sufficient. Two other companies, three other big general contractors, I have a qualified GC working now. Julius, my partner, owns a construction. I've looked at this 10 different ways and just have the local vendor for repair, for, I just think, is, is probably the best for me, best move. So if we stuck with the eight foot fence, how soon would that, could that be installed? Like, you know, three weeks or so, I, I guess. That's what I was told a couple weeks ago. I'd have to get a new update, things move on, other orders come in, they, companies get other priorities. <clears throat> I'm just thinking, practically speaking, the six foot fence will stand 6.6 .6 inches tall when it's done. It's gonna have the, the same amount of privacy and protection of sound, weaving, and it, it just really does. Practically speaking, the eight footer, um, it's just a custom, custom job. It's not even about the money, it's, it's really not. I just think the six foot gets it done, and then I'm always in a position to be able to make a repair whenever, whenever we need to, if we need to. Well, that was one of the conditions in the, in the agreement here. And if that was going to be a problem, why wasn't that brought up when this was, agreement was developed? I think it's like anything else. You start with an idea, you dive into it, you figure out operations a little bit more. You have 12 to 15 months to actually plan the idea, revisit the idea, plan the idea, revisit. And you know what? Now we're getting into the construction. I called my vendors over the last 60 days, got some inflated construction quotes that just don't make sense and they, they won't really work for now. And I feel like this fence vendor, when he's, he's writing to me and telling me, who's making you do an eight foot fence? Why is there an eight foot fence? That shouldn't even be a topic of discussion. Six foot fence is like industry standard and it works. And it, the same effect that we're looking for is delivered with the six footer. And I understand we signed, we signed the eight foot, so no problem. If this board says eight foot is the way to go and that, that's all I can do, I understand. But I'm just saying from an operation standpoint, as we get going, probably have to revisit this. Like the six foot fence may be the, the way to go in the end. Anyways. But if you're saying now it takes three it would take three weeks to uh, order and install an eight foot fence, why wasn't this uh, thought of uh, three weeks ago or, or longer? Uh, it was a lot of, it was a lot of. We had, we had contractors that we thought we were gonna be able to make work, then their schedules changed, then they can't get a crew. 
then they want you know more than half the deposit up front. So just kind of decide to take a step back from going crazy with construction and just do the simple stuff. Focus on the public safety. So when it comes to public safety, um, I feel like I'm on top of it right now. Like I really do. And I feel like the six foot fence, practically speaking from an operational standpoint, is gonna work just as well as the eight footer. I know what was signed. I guess I'm asking for some permission as the operator to move forward with the six footer that will actually stand 6.6 .6 inches tall. And that's easy to replace if it gets damaged. And it has the same effect privacy wise as an eight footer. I'm on top of everything else, delivering, keeping our word. Just the eight foot fence, I just could use a little help on just as a, someone looking to operate, just use a little little help there. I, I'm, I'm struggling with a few things. Um, you have details for Tuesday. How far up do you have details at this point? Uh, I've just scheduled next week so far. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. When were you contacted that they were going to be open on the 29th? Uh, I think I was the last, not this past Monday, but the Monday before. Last Monday, I told them I talked with uh, Nick and then I met with Mark as well last week. But I'm under the impression that you found out that they were opening from a sign on the door. Yes. Um, I don't. I don't get. It. What's the confusion there? Just why the chief found out about? You're on top of the security more than anything else, but you didn't reach out to him. He found out from a poster on a door. Yep. So it tells me that. I guess my concern is that I don't, I'm not convinced you've seen, you, you really paid attention to these requirements. Oh, no, I have. Well, in advance, well, because if it were me, I would have been finding out about every detail of this, of what to do. I'm well aware of the details on that. That's but, why but, I closed on the property. But actually. when did you approach Concom about the, 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 the fence? I understand the conditions. No, uh, no but, problem. As far as you know, finding out about an event, it was literally almost the same day. And I've, I've been doing other creative marketing things too, as far as like getting castaways out there, getting the brand, planning for an opening. If I have to kill an opening date from an operating standpoint, not the worst thing. I just build more demand, get the story going, it gets out there. So it's a win-win either way. Um, I went through proposals from contractors for like 30 days. I had contractors walking in there, you know, nonstop and then made a decision to, to not go that route and to pivot. And that was all because we want to capture, be able to capture the fall market. But why didn't you, but, but you see, my, my struggle is, 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 your, is, is you're talking about preparedness. Uh-huh. And the smoking wall yep. was in there. Okay. When did you approach Comcom? Don't know if I formally approached them, but I went through the building department for my fence permit, and then the contractor had called ComCom. -Com. There was there was almost like supposed to be a walkthrough of the property one night, like very loose guidance almost, you know. From from, but I understand that that involves conservation commission. I can pull the permit tomorrow, get the denial permit to build the wall, and then the process will start. So I can do that. I came well, here really to update. Two months ago. That's what I don't get. I just closed on the property in, in August. Two months ago, yeah. Yeah. So 24 hours later, you know, it's like, I, I look at Castaways, I'm like, wow. For 45 years, a lot of things went on. And it wasn't until I stepped up to the plate with my partner to go ahead and to put investment money to work, to buy it, to turn it around, that all of this came up. And I'm here as an operator, like making it work. So I'm, I'm asking, just have a little faith in me. Like, just if, I, if I can get going with the six foot fence, that's done, no problem. Security cameras, I have room being made in there now for outlets, that's being installed, that's no problem. Private security, best I can do, because I do need female guards, like I have to have, I have to have, I have to be able to service female patrons no matter what, so I need female security for that, that's a special situation. And yeah, you know, it's kind of where I'm at as, a, as an operator, but I'm happy to comply or do whatever you need me to do. I'm really asking for, a, uh, what is it, a 
foot and a half or so break on the fence. But everything else, I don't, I don't really see where I'm behind or not on top of for owning the property for you know just about 60 days or so. When was the building permit issued for the fence? About the go ahead, like uh, a couple days before L and L, because I figured they were gonna the building department would actually reject the request for the fence, and then we'd have to start the whole conservation plan for the fence. But since we're not using concrete, we're just using wood. Doesn't really it just have to keep keep an extremely clean job site, is what I was told. But so the con con piece for the the part that is cement in the smoking area and the smoking area. Yeah. When was that? Permit no permit pulled. No, no permit pulled for that. But I know that's going to be the process. I didn't pull a permit for the, the brick wall, the eight-foot well, wall. Why not? Because it just kind of, I don't know if you're familiar, but when I'm working with like the Board of Health or electrical inspector, it's kind of, hey, can you come down, walk through it, check it out? It's, it's a little bit a little bit different than what I'm used to. I'm used to really stringent, super strict, like compliant sign-offs and everything. So I guess they, the contract I'm working with just called, called about the fence. He submitted the paperwork through online. They said, go ahead for the eight foot fence, that's no problem. But when we talked about the brick wall, they said your process is gonna be X, Y, and Z. So that's what I'm going off of, so that's that's it. So do you have a date for ConCon? Con? I don't, okay. nope, nope, I didn't pull the permit. So once I pull the permit for that brick wall, and if they reject it, like I think they will, then at that point the process is triggered, I'll come back, I'll get the wetlands consultant, we'll roll through it, and we'll go there, but if they, if they allow me to move forward on the eight foot, I can have a mason out there in 48 hours too. So that's no problem, but I, I think I'm gonna trigger. I just don't understand why this, I, I really don't understand why it didn't happen like right after you closed. Because that's I, I don't, totally unrealistic. It is unrealistic. Just from an investor, from someone who buys real estate, manages property, very unrealistic. I didn't have full access. sense of when you wanted to. No, no, but I didn't have full access with the previous owner to get right. in there. I had uh, camera guys go by and they got kicked off the property one time. So I didn't have full access. By the former owner. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't have, I had literally. But the minute you closed, closed you, you had a sense of when you wanted to yep. open. Yep. If so I don't own the property, people just tell me I'm, I'm saying after you owned the pro property. And I did everything. Yeah. I spent, I, spent, I spent 14 to 21 days doing due diligence, vetting contractors, figuring out a plan, figuring out if it's best to do a, a big gut right now, if it's best to just wait till January. I did everything that someone put in half a million dollars to work on a property and business does. I took my time. I did my due diligence. I didn't have full access to the property while the previous owner owned it to get in there and do everything I could. Like, I just, it didn't work that way. In the ideal world, sure, it would have been happy-go-lucky, vendors coming in and out, but it just, it wasn't like that. But why, and, but, we should have found out about this a while ago. I'm having trouble with this. This is gonna take time. The, 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 the 60 days, mm -hmm. never mind the opening day. Mm -hmm. Who cares about that right now? Just the 60 days was in the thing, and, and, and we didn't hear, we're going to have trouble with the 60 days. But what did trouble with defense, the, really. I mean, what what's that? that? Trouble with defense. I mean, I, if I, but, but it, but, but it's not I can kill the cinder block and just not let people out there to smoke, and then they're, what do I have to do with the cinder block, really? I mean, there's, well, there's no it's access. In the, it's in the... I agree, but I'm just following the, the proper protocol on that. That's like, so essentially you knew I'd have to go to conservation then. Yeah. Right? So you, you, you'd figure that when I close on the property, I, I wouldn't be able to open right away then is what you're saying. Because no. you knew I had to go to conservation. No, you go to come right away. That, it doesn't take long. Okay. But you didn't. Sure. I know. I know. I just took a, a dilapidated property, put real money to work in it, got it cleaned up, getting security here, getting cameras here, Bringing daylight to that property, fixing an eyesore. I know. I'm 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 W two in employees. I'm paying wages. I'm hiring security. I know. You know. But I, I'm totally with you on the fence. But I am happy to be the one that that brings this castaways like you know the, this whole issue with all. I'm going to remedy everything that you want. I'm going to get it done, and then we'll we'll come back whenever you want. But I'm literally asking for a break on the fence. It's not even about the money, it's less than 2,000 bucks. I would love to do the eight foot fence if they had the cedar in there right now, that wouldn't even be a big deal. It'd be great, it'd be a great improvement for the property. We have no problems with that, it's money well spent. But as far as cameras, okay, electrical's being done right now, vendors are pretty slow. I guess August is a super busy time in this town for everyone, as far as contractors and, and builders, it really is so. 
I think we're doing great to turn this property around, number one, and the public safety that we have in place coming, unlike anything that's ever existed at that establishment for decades. So if I can have a break on the fence, I'd appreciate it. That just to, to have a six foot, six, uh, six foot six inch fence would be great. And I can get you guidance ASAP on the process for the, the Conservation Commission. I can submit the permit tomorrow. If they deny it, um, I cannot let people smoke up there or just to keep the noise down, just send two people up there for, for safety reasons. It's not good to send one person alone. But I get it, you know, conditions are the conditions. I own that, that's no problem. It's not, it's not the case, but I have done good work in that place in like just about 60 days. Okay. Brian, when was the town informed of, of either the, the opening date or that they weren't gonna meet the 60 days since the uh, issuance of the license? When did we actually know that information? that they were not going to meet the, right, I mean, days. I don't think Nick ever said they weren't going to meet it. Um, I think probably around the same time that we learned of the opening, um, I think that was when um, we had reached out to, mm -hmm. to Nick and I suggested to him that, that he have a meeting with the board if, if, if they were not going to be able to meet the conditions. Because you don't want to be operating outside of the conditions, and I think Nick understands that. Totally, totally. Do. Um, so it was probably it was two weeks ago, maybe we can have it go. It's got to be a week and a half. Almost two weeks. So so exactly. Exactly. Two weeks. Okay. Yeah. That's an estimate. Two weeks. <coughs> okay. Does so anybody else have comments here? I just have a question. Well, is, is there a special reason why it has to be eight foot instead of, where did the eight foot come from? I know it was agreed to, but I don't know where the eight foot come from instead of the 6.6. I, I don't know if there's a reason for the eight foot as opposed to the six. I, My memory, and again, it's, yeah. it's memory, is that as Nick will recall, we had, and this board wasn't part of these meetings, but I think Brian was, I think it was part of the discussions that took place between um, Nick, and the abutters about comfort level of the abutters. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the agreed upon height of the fence. Now, and I respect the owner of L&L &L a lot. He's right. a great business owner. Great, 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 everywhere, yeah. But, yeah. but that's, where, that's where the eight foot, and that's where the eight foot came from. And I, and I think it was, I'm guessing <laughs> here, in terms of why the comfort, because though rare, people do run six and a half feet tall. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just that 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 the, the the optics of eight feet seems because all of us are I'm pushing six feet. Good. You know, the optics of eight feet was a much more comforting optic. And again, I, again, I'm 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 speculating. And I think with four to eight feet, that that sounds right. Could 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 a Compromise be that a six foot six fence be put up and then the eight foot concrete smoking area. I mean, could that be a compromise? I mean, that's where the noise is going to come from. Yes, one touch on that. Smoking area there, I, I would think. Um, and I think the six foot six is just the parking lot area that, and where people are really not going to be just coming in and out. I don't know how comfortable I am with that. And my question to you, never mind my personal. Yeah, comfort level. Changing these requires public hearing. That's the town council's opinion. Yeah, correct. So, okay. I, so changing the conditions in here, okay, require would require it, it public was, hearing. It was his opinion that that's a, that's a modification of the license. Okay, and if if we were to go that route, to mod, to mod, that would have to be. The six foot, the eight foot fence would have to be modified in this agreement before we could tell them to go ahead with the six foot. Is what we're saying. Okay. How soon could this agreement be modified? Then? What are we looking at? It will, It could. And that's assuming that's what the board wants to do. 
based on the, any potential public comment that comes in. Um, I'd have to look at the regulations in terms of what what the what the notice period is, but it could happen no sooner than forty eight hours. Well, I'd have to check. I'd have to check to see hours. if there's ABCC regulations that you mean forty eight hours to post for you get have to post the hearing mm -hmm. and then hearings are how far notified in advance. That's what I need to check. Each each one of them can be different depending on the topic. So I would have to I would have to check with that. And then would that have to go back to ABC to get approval if we modified this? I don't think it would require approval at no. all. Okay. Um, well, the challenge, just in terms of logistics, <coughs> even <coughs> and it, it's not, it's it's not gonna, it's 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 this calendar scenario. Is about as unrealistic as you can imagine. Posting has to be 48 hours. Mm -hmm. That means it doesn't get the public hearing wouldn't happen before Monday night. Understood. Understand. So it. Understand. Um, I I don't see how we can do this at this point. I I, I, I again I'm not I'm not going to hide behind a, a a 48 hour you know the the public hearing thing. I don't know that I'm comfortable with it. That being said, it doesn't matter at this point what I'm comfortable with. Yeah. Um, I haven't been doing this for as long as I've been doing it. My gut tells me that you'd be quicker to put up an eight foot, eight foot fence There's than the already on it. Process. Already yeah. on it. Yeah. You know, I, I don't. Uh, that's not even. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. I just figured, ask, mm -hmm. and uh, I did reach out for like board of health stuff. Like, like I did reach out early on in the month to, to kick it off and I did need 30 days or so to kind of digest every, you get in there and there's old stuff everywhere. It takes a couple of days to even get that junked out and then you can see the bones and then there's a process to it. And I promise you the due diligence was done properly immediately after closing for it. Um, okay, so if, is there a solution that would allow me to get open? If I can prove that at the deposits done at L&L &L and it's getting kicked off and I have there's there's trees over there. There's so many. There's a bunch of trees. If I had state, someone stationed over there. Yeah, no, I mean, because it, it would change the chain. That it, I mean, that's the. Yeah. But if, if if we did go this route to hold a public meeting Monday, I mean, yours yours. You, you you're can't proposing a, a opening a Tuesday. Understand? How would how would? Uh, there's no way you're going to have that built in. What eight hours or whatever, twenty-four hours, right? But but Fred, you can't even have a public hearing on Monday. You have to. Be, it would be posted on Monday. It's Wednesday night. It would be posted on Monday. Is that what we said? Or if you post it tomorrow, but, but then it's forty-eight hours in advance, so you don't. Forty-eight. Okay, so it'd be Tuesday then, possibly. Okay. I'm not going to yeah. drive anyone crazy. I promise. That's the last thing I want. Yeah, I don't want to drive anyone crazy. Uh, the issue that you have eight. about the fence is that just practicality it, on six foot as opposed to eight foot is if, as Nick said, if something happened, it's like some plow pit or something and it, it fell down and we had to replace it, you're talking a period of time to order an eight foot fence and now you've got issues there with sound to replace the eight foot fence where you could probably replace it with a six foot fence in a matter of a day. That's the other thing we're looking at. Yeah, I mean, I. I I get it again. I'm not a contractor, yeah. but if a, if a plow hit it, the plow would have to hit it pretty hard to well, demo the fence. I mean, it can can be put back up and. I'm just I'm just saying to, to, right. to, they don't have them in stock as we'd have to work. Okay. That's I, I that's get it. Right. Okay. I, I have a feeling also just I think that how do I want to put this? I, I think that if I were you guys, <coughs> I'd be very, very happy to just do the eight foot fence and not try to, and not make a deal out of it because people will start to get money. Fair enough. It's conditions came here as a, just to ask. I, I get it. Yep. Yeah. It's a, and I think it's kind of on our hands, obviously, yeah. anyway. Understood. Uh, I, so I guess we're leaning towards existing conditions. 
uh, I would suggest you look at other fence contractors, companies besides the two you have. Okay. And it may be possible to get one in two days to do it. I don't know. There's, I like there's many challenge. fence companies out there. I like it. That's your responsibility. Go find one and we'll do it in a week. You've got, what, six days? Yeah. As, um, as far as cameras, so I can happy to walk uh, walk the chief through. I need a couple more days on, on that stuff. Um, cameras, um, I will update tomorrow on the actions I take as far as the permit for that uh, for the brick wall there in the back, the mason, right. yeah. the conservation commission. I just, I need some guidance. With, with, if I put the conservation stuff in motion and I, I limit who goes out there to smoke, because that's all it is, it's for people to <coughs> smoke. Yeah. Is it possible to open? Like, uh, is it possible to get open while that's in process? We need fence. Yeah, if the fence was, uh, if the, okay, if the fence was up. Well. Uh, the fence, I don't think, is going to take that long. Well, you, but you said three weeks. Yeah. yeah. And then I push to get it done in two. Yeah, yeah that's after having done this a little bit, yeah. I'm getting a high. It's wrong. Yep. If you were to contact ConCom tomorrow, mm -hmm. You would have a meeting with them pretty quickly. I think you can meet with CONCOM within that window of fence construction. Okay. Now, you might call me Nick and say, you got a bone up in your town and schedule calendars. I get it. But, okay. you know, that, that's, I would suggest that would be your first call tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, what, what is there right now for that smoking area is just what, a chain link fence? Yeah. Yeah, and it's a noise issue. It was it was a noise issue back. I remember during the hearings that, and it was also the the, the odor and the, the smoke etc. From the yeah, all that uh, noise noise was noise was it noise? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I remember some you know smoking wafting over, but I definitely there was too many people let up in that back area before at one time. Before. You know, that won't that won't happen. But the 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 eight foot the stockade fence is going to tie into that masonry fence about it uh, is yeah it's going to run all basically run up to, to, uh, to the, the center the block. yeah because the chain link fence is there now there'll, there'll be some happy merger and that's going to be nasty yeah. inside that eight foot yeah. all that smoke yeah. I, I don't know no we won't we're, we're not going to let it get out of control like, we won't. <laughs> really not a smoker we won't, we won't let it we won't let it. it hurts people coming back inside the club like Cigarette smoke and all that. Yeah. It's, it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Or, I don't know. Uh, if it's, if it's, <laughs> if it's, do things right. <laughs> probably. If it's possible to, to temporary measure, put the eight foot stockade around there while you're going through the permitting and, and, and doing the uh, the masonry and get that up there, and then you at least got the two or three sections of eight foot for future use if you need to. Is that all, is that acceptable? I'm not following what you're saying, Fred, at all. I'm saying if, I suggest if, it's the same thing. But if, if, if they're going to get the, an eight foot fence in there and within the next six days, an eight foot stockade fence, to continue that around the uh, smoking area as a temporary measure while it goes through the permitting and con con process to get a masonry wall there in that smoking area. So you'd have a, a, a stockade fence panel. instead of a masonry fence around the smoking area while he's going through a permit process. Um, I, would, I would have two comments to that. I would look to Brian in terms of does that change the, the, the uh, variance, but I also would say, I wish Joyce were here, but what? Um, according to the town council, really the only action that that I mean, I mean the the board can't change conditions tonight right okay. absent a public hearing what it can do is he said it could um it could extend as part of its discretion the time to complete that um, so we time to complete the the masonry part we could extend that correct that was his opinion You're not modifying the condition. You're not modifying. You're modifying. Okay, so that wouldn't work. Okay. I mean, I think we'll. 
I know Jonathan has a, has a, has a meeting at six. I mean, what we need or what would be helpful is if, if we provide some clear guidance, you know, to Nick as to the conditions that we're talking about as to what the board expects. Um, Personally, I think that I, I think they need to to get that fence. And, and I, I, I yeah. again, I wish we had been approached two weeks ago so that all three of us could be here. And I guess the question is, is if they put a temporary eight foot fence <coughs> with a concrete. Yeah, that would that would change the variance requirements. Changes the variance. The only thing we can do is extend time. Oh, oh, I see. That's what you can recall. That's what you. That's what you can require. If he could put that up on his own, if in his good graces, if you want to do that, he could do it. What do you mean? Um, I mean, you're not requiring it, but he could do it. Sure. Yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, so let's just let me just run through what we've talked about a little bit. So we talked about the the new video surveillance system. We said that'll be in by the twenty. That'll, that'll be, be in before, before, before opening nine, and electrician is, is making room, making outlets. Um, yeah, and cleaning up some stuff. So, and, and yeah. do you have the electrical inspector? They already did. A, up? They already did a walkthrough. No, but they're going to want to see the final. Product. They can come back anytime they want. I'm not making. I'm not. I'm not taking any crazy changes in there. I'm. I'm cleaning up outlets. That. Yeah, but what I'm. What I'm yep, saying. Is I got guidance from my general contractor on the permit process for, for what I need for electrically. The electrical inspector walked it. I'm not. I'm not adding anything. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm putting in new light bulbs, new spotlights. Uh, rope LED lights, nothing that requires a permit. I have a licensed general, I have a licensed electrician there now. So you don't need worried. a final sign off? From what I'm told, I'm not, I'm not doing anything that requires me pulling okay. a permit, so I don't, I don't expect a sign off. Okay. So, but doors are open for anyone that wants to come in there at any time. That's not a problem. So it changes to the exterior lighting. You, you, well, yep. you said that, that some of that has, done been, now. That yeah. has been done. Yep. But you that haven't seen it at night yet. Yep. yep, it's done right now. Yep, it was done this morning. Okay. It was pretty bright. It's pretty bright out there. You'll see. Yeah, it. Some, you'll see it at some point. I'll see yeah, it. I'm in the dark because they just. Or they just my drive for the next meeting. So twenty seven. All right. Good. Yeah, <laughs> it came in right. after, but. So. so that's done before the 29th because it's done now. Um, what's what does the board want to do about the masonry wall? I think you've got to go to the Conditions say it needs to be done in 60 days. Uh, according to the town council, the only action you could take would be to extend that time period. If you were so inclined. So Other than that, it's a condition that needs to be met before they so open. Extend it. We need to decide on a date. Right? Yep. Is it possible to extend on that on the, the brick wall? That's what we're talking about, masonry wall. Yeah. Well, let us let ask you. What do you think is a reasonable time to extend to get that done? Can start the process tomorrow, get the rejection letter, um, can line up a good wetlands consultant to come in. I think I have to do some flagging probably. Um, that shouldn't take long. I can have a wetlands consultant tomorrow, no problem. Um, as far as the process with uh, CONCOM, I've never been through that with that board, so I, I wouldn't know. Um, Truthfully, I wouldn't know, but I can pull the permit tomorrow, get the rejection letter, and line up a good wetlands consultant to get me through the process. I can have that all in motion by like Monday. Okay, and then to have somebody actually build the wall? Um, I'll see right if now, we can get somebody. I feel, I feel good right now about the crew I have in there. I think it can build the wall properly, the masonry. Yeah, I, can, I can do that within 72 hours, you know, just say. It takes me 72 hours to get the mason wall done if I, if I had to. So. So, so then, I, are you are you are you saying if you started this tomorrow that you could I, have the masonry wall done by your opening? One hundred percent. Yeah. The only problem is if so, if they approve the permit tomorrow, great. If if I if right. then I can I can have that I can have the uh, masonry. I can't imagine they're going to do that though. If I don't it's know. a clean job site, I don't know. There's not. I'm not cutting into anything. I'm not. Uh, there's not going to be debris flying over and. That's not like I'm demolishing the, the, the property over there. I mean, yeah, but I had to get concom approval to build no the problem. Problem. Yeah, I understand. So, so yeah. uh, just to move dirt. Yep. Um, and in a wetland. So it's because it's in a wetland. Yep, I understand. That's your. Do you, 
I just have a question about the wall. Do you have a plan for the wall? Is it is going to be completely enclosed, or is there going to be a door to get out of it? Um, I have to have there? a door because that's that yeah. is an egress. So if they were still going to smoke, I would have to. I'd have to draw it up. Just really so you'd have to put a door in the wall so they could get out uh, get out of that area if they had to I without mean, going back. So to the building. how do you make the door out? Of, there's going to so the reality like this is just this is like the reality. Someone a mason's going to come out mm -hmm. and they're like, okay, you want you want a door cut out of cinder block. Okay, but you can't do that. That's they're going to install, install it right when you're going to install it. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to have to, you know, the, yeah. whether I keep the, there's a, there's a piece of the chain gate that opens and it faces away from the property, may need some flexibility to keep that open and then, okay. you know, have the brick wall, but I, I'll have the plans drawn up for the building department. They can, they can look yeah, at it. I was just But Con Cop's going to say, what are your, but, but, but to Jim's point, and I, and I really do have to go, but to Jim's <laughs> point, you don't have plans drawn up. For the masonry wall, doesn't take much. Doesn't. I, take I understand much. that, but Concom's going to say, "Well, let's see the plans." And and this is and, and it goes back to my frustration before that there aren't even plans. But for us, when we hear plans, like I'd have to be honest with you, you know, I, I don't get freaked out. For me, plans is call my architect, get it done in two seconds, or call my contractor. To, I don't freak okay, out but, about the plan. But it should have like, been done a long time ago. No, our priority our priority was much different. A, we're turning around a brand that completely went to crap. I'm I'm putting in policies that are for for sex workers, and I'm working on, uh, I mean, I'm taking on a lot in in the civil rights world when it comes in, into the LGBTQ community. So I I have I have real priorities. The the eight foot masonry wall, while it's a top priority, there there's some stuff in there like internally, company wise, just how to get done. Everything is is moving along just fine. If if we weren't in front of the wetlands, the masonry would be built. I can submit a plan tomorrow fully drawn up by a contractor that shows the masonry wall. It doesn't take much, and on the other side of that submission, they don't expect much on a, on a basic plan. Like some contractors actually submit plans on napkins, which is totally crazy, but it happens. Like a hand drawing on a piece Not of paper. Not the contract, we don't. I hear you, <laughs> but I'm prepared. Tomorrow, I've already I've talked to one wetlands consultant who's ready to go. So. Okay, so I, I, I gather we're, we're leaning towards the, the eight foot wall begun by the opening day. And eight foot fence. Open, they, they put eight foot stockade fence be done by the opening date of October 29th. Okay. And or whatever that opening date is. I mean, if they can't get it done by October 29th, they can't open on it. Well, let's say, okay, by October 29th or opening day, and the uh, masonry wall, well, we, we could say the same thing for the, for the masonry wall, and, and if it's not done by opening day, come back to our next meeting. We want to talk about. I mean, we're not. Meet, we're meeting next Wednesday. Well, that's before. I, I know that's before, but my, my concern with extending anything, and I and I apologize. I do have an, another meeting. My my problem with extending the the masonry piece is that we have there would be. I don't know what's the degree of a leap of faith, but it would be a leap of faith that con, 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 could come back and say can't do this. I don't know that they will. But it's, who are we to? We'd be jumping the gun on Con Yeah. I, I, I worry. I, my question is, so we don't. We, there's a lot of employees riding on over there. There's, there's people depending on it. So I'm just curious. So if, what's the process? If you see that in good faith, I, I went. I'm submitting the pro. The, I'm going through the necessary steps that it takes to, to get through Con Con, and it ends up taking longer than expected. But the fence is done. I'm just curious if they're happy. My, my, assuming it's not going to happen by next Tuesday. Yeah. Um, again, my suggestion is that <clears throat> we would schedule another meeting here sooner rather than later mm -hmm. during that process and have Scott come in and say, Scott, your your estimate in terms of the state of the con. Scott Jackson is the head of con, con. Um, What's your estimate in terms of what, how how you guys will proceed? in terms of pace. Until then, if I said by X date, I would be I pulling it out of my hair, yeah. out of the air. 
Well, it, and it, it is possible with the scenario you're giving with the, the marathon falls in place with all boards to have it done by the opening day. What if I just don't allow smoking out there? But the, the stockade fence is still, you yourself said three, you have, you're looking at three weeks. Yeah. But now there's a little more pressure, you know, so try to find a way. But I'm just curious, if, I'm just curious if, if there was no smoking out there and I was able to get the eight footer installed somehow, which I already know is probably impossible. I'm just curious. If there's no smoking out there, what do you think? Is, just, is, that, is, that, is that, what's the word I'm looking for? Can you regulate that? I don't mean you, but from a security perspective, someone's gonna go out there. I mean, you're the manager, right? Yes. <laughs> and I've worked in restaurants a lot, a lot before, you know? Right, it's a, it's a bit different in a club setting. I've actually worked a lot of restaurants too, but I do require that the entertainers check in with me before they go out to smoke at all. What about bartending? Same, they can't, I mean, they can't just walk away from the bars. They're on shift, right, or a dishwasher, or, you know, there are, there are a lot of employees other than just the entertainers. And I know when I worked in a restaurant, this was sadly a long time ago now, um, it, you know, the kitchen help was, you know, they're, they're hot, they're sweaty back there, they're working harder than anybody else in the yep. whole place. And they want to get outside for a breath of fresh air. They wouldn't be allowed to do this because it's, it's it's noise. It's not just the fact they're smoking, but people out there. The decibel level goes up. Yeah, I, I totally understand the concerns. It's something that I bring up with all of the entertainers when we interview and talk about it. That you know we're under pressure here to really respect our neighbors and to be considerate of people with the noise level. That we're not going to let more than two people go out at the same time to do smoking at all. And I'm happy to say too that most of the people I'm interviewing care about their body, and we don't have a lot of we don't have a heavy smoking crowd. Right. But so. again, again, I don't mean to pick on people who wash dishes, but they're it's hot, it's sweaty. Yep. It's not they're not getting looking out to smoke. They're looking to get a little fresh air, which I totally get. Mm -hmm. um, so they they have <clears throat> they have an area up front which was originally built as the smoking area didn't work out so well because I put them right in the parking lot. Right. Does it does that smoking area have to be? on that side of the building right in that corner or could there be another area on the other well, side towards the back of the building not i'm not saying by the front door yep. i'm saying towards the back of the building the five, ten side. yeah if you put something on the five and ten side then you're not even on that side of the building that that would be a change in the, that would be a big change in yeah <clears throat> I, I gotta go but what i'm this, why don't we leave these two conditions in here by opening day? If they're not met, they come to us at our next meeting on the 30th and we talk. Decide if if uh, if they need it. Uh, we have come come here. You can have Scott here. How, how long is it going to take him to do the masonry wall? Uh, well, I mean, there's no guarantee we'll get Scott here. No, well, no, uh, okay. But and then that, I'm just saying the invitation could be extended. And then that's our, your next meeting is the 30th. Right. So what are you saying for the 29th? Did yeah. they, they have the uh, eight foot stock eight fence up. So they want to open on the 29th. With no, so the employees can't go outside. Well, we'll leave it on him to decide whether that's done or not. not but but without, without that masonry fence, well, employees can't go outside. That would be how they control it. Well, how they're gonna control that. No, it's cut and dry. If, if well, the fence isn't built, employees can't go, can't go outside. outside. Right, and that's well, and unfortunate for the employees. But well, they're only the ones that smoke. I, I guess. No, it's no, it's not about smoking. Well, it, Frank, I don't smoke. Well, okay. But my voice carries. I can't well, smoke. Right. Okay. If I went outside the building, it's not. It's not about me smoking. It's about the fact that my voice carries, yeah, so and I've had laughed okay. once or twice. Okay. So they wouldn't be. Like, yeah, they wouldn't allow anybody outside then. If that isn't built. No one's allowed outside now. They must stay there and work. No, I'm just kidding. Which um, stinks. I get it. No, I, I, listen, some people like to go outside and just have, have a cup of water. Right. You know, I know. Coffee. It's my point. Take a deep breath. Call your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. You it's know. my point. I get it. I'm with you on that. I, and, uh, but I, in theory, I could order an extra panel. For somehow, I was able to find a vendor to do the eight footer could order an extra panel just to put on the inside of that smoking area that would, in hindsight, it's probably better than the cinder block. Well, but the I got the cinder condition. block is gonna yeah. noise more than a stockade fence. 
you know what? This this is just too. I I, I I'm struggling. Okay. It just it, it's. Well, I, I whatever know. five times twenty four is, away from this thing opening. Yeah. Well, the, the condition is on them for the stockade fence. Or no opening, I guess is what we're saying. If they want to open on 29th, the stockade fence has to be in as a minimum. Yep. And how, how they control employee noise and smoking out there, uh, you know, it calls for masonry wall. If that's not built, they're going to have to tell us how they're going to do that. They can't, but no, but. That, no, but that's not us. We're changing, we're changing well, the rules. You can you know, extend the extend the date for that too. In theory, it could, I, I could be allowed to operate with an extension yeah. if everyone is well aware that I'm going through conservation. My plan's there. I'm, I'm going through the process, right? In, in theory, okay, that so could be allowed. To, we need to come up with an extension date. What do we? Are we comfortable doing that? Thirty days. We do thirty days and revisit for, for the masonry wall. I, I, I don't know. Again, I, I'm I'm feeling badly because I have to leave. I'm feeling badly for you guys, but that means no employees outside. Yeah. To Nick's point, to have a cup of coffee, to have a glass of water. It, I'm guessing it gets hot in there. I don't know. I don't think I've never seen a, a heavy instance of dancers going outside to catch yeah, a break. I'm worried about more than just dancers. I think that the employees are more worried about making their money than they are about smoking. So if we can open and tell them we can't go outside, I don't think, I mean, it's not ideal, but I don't think we'll have a huge uprising. Is that enforceable? Uh, from my perspective, uh, I have no way of enforcing it. From the club owner, that door lets light in actually anyway, so it's really, it's actually not actually good. It, yeah. it's, actually, it's actually hard, and I hate the, I hate the door, but it does let light in. Or it just lets you can just see lights, and then I have a motion light up there too, and a camera light. So every time the door opens, it's just going to let light in, you know. So it's not it's not the most ideal setup. I'm, I am working within the existing uh, layout over there for now, but I could limit it to two people out there. And every every employee I have right now, is, they're so on board with with just doing things the right way, as they know. Without I mean, the mixed fence, we can't let employees. We just can't because that. It's okay, no but I could use. operate. I just can't have people smoke out there. You can't have people out there. Right. There's nothing to do with smoking. It's just out, out there. there. Out there. You can't have people out there. But which, don't get me wrong. I really don't like. I. That's not fair to them. Yeah. Okay, but he's saying he's going to control that. So I could. I could. I, I guess we have to trust him that that's going to happen. So do we want to extend it to the date for the masonry uh, law? Do we? I would. I would. What's the date? What do we want to? What happened? I have 30 more days on the wall. No, but but what happens if what happens? You open, uh, hypothetically. Yep. You open, and Con comes says, "This stinks. You can't do this." What do you um, do? I'll I'll just come. I'll just just talk. We'll find solutions. Like actually, but, they, 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 but you might have to get shut down for. After you will, but why though? Like, let's let's not hurt the guys who just who just purchased some real estate or hiring twenty people. There's no need to shut me down if I have a solution that's actually better if than the emotional but, stuff we put together here in a room full of people. But, it's like, you know, I can probably find a better solution. solution I don't know. I, we don't know what Concom's going to say. It's the unknown. I don't think, and I we think don't know how long it's going to be. So to offer an extension is, if I had a dart board, I throw a dart, and you don't know how long the extension's going to be. Um, so, so, so there's a couple things. One is, one is if it's if, if what the condition requires is impossible, and the licensee would come back and request a change in the conditions based on that possibility. That was discussed during the mm -hmm. the public hearings that we had. Um, again, there's there, there's what, let's say you were to say 30 days, as, as Fred suggested. Then, you know. It, if he doesn't think he's going to make 30 days, then he needs to be back here and having another conversation with the board that, for whatever reason, that time period's yeah, not working. Or, he's yeah, have, by he, should have, he should have a good reason as to yeah. as to why that's not the case. Yeah. So, yeah. As far as what Comcom's going to say, I guess anybody's guess, I, I, I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't even uh, use that as a condition. 
to say what ComCom is going to get. I say. mean, they probably. I mean, it, it, give them the 30 days and let them deal with ComCom and whatever they say, they say. The and we can't control that, or we can't say, well, if they're going to deny it, what are you going to do? I, I mean, that's speculation that you don't know the outcome, or if that's even going to happen. The regular meeting schedule would have them meeting probably in the middle of November. Okay. Because I think they're filing deadline for it's probably early November. Yeah, Do we have to make a decision right now? Uh, I don't know what the alternative is. We'd have to meet again. Or they, or I'm now late for my meeting. Can't open. Well, I, I guess my my okay. I'll make a motion that the the uh, eight foot stockade fence be be installed by opening day. And we give them a 30-day extension to do the uh, the masonry wall. 30-day extension from today for the masonry wall. I can have some type of opinion for you from someone qualified on the wetland and stuff. I can have, I can have a real opinion for you just as like process. Probably by like Wednesday of next week. Just I have to. I'm going to get it done for the company anyways, and uh, I'm kicking that off immediately right now. And I can. I I'm going to suggest that. you find someone who knows the head of our con For sure. Yep. Not someone just random. No, no, no random. Who actually can go talk with the head of our con yep. and say, what do you think here? Yep. Only under the condition that no employees are out there. Okay, well, he's assuring us that no employees are out there. Right? And, and if, if, if the detail right. sees it out there, they let us know immediately. Yep, it would be documented yeah. for it. Because you guys are going to be on the perimeter and inside occasionally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. I, yeah, I got to go. Right, okay. Cool. Right. Yeah, you got to vote. So, okay. Uh, yeah. In favor of the motion? Fine. All right. Okay. So it's a stockade. Put stockade by. The when are you going to let us know by whether the stockade is happening? Like, you know. Okay. A couple days there. The, only condition, the only condition that's excused temporarily is the basement wall. Right. Before you can open. I, I got it. Right. Understood. Yeah.